The San Francisco 49ers travel to Mile High to face off against the Denver Broncos, in which they face a familiar rival in Russell Wilson. There's a lot of stories going into this game, and we're going to cover a few of them today. And my preview of this game for the Sunday Night Football. So where to begin? Let's start with offense, right? Sadly, Trey Lance got injured. Um, very sad. Won't be playing even if he's healthy by playoff time, which is the right move. If you don't think that's the right move, um, I got a few questions to ask you, but that's for a different time, different time. Ask me them on Twitter. Ask me for those questions on Twitter if you feel like it. But anyway, and in this place is everyone's favorite prodigal son, Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, there's a going, there's been a lot of talk about Jimmy Garoppolo, about which version are we going to see about him, right? This year, now uh, he's this backup, nothing less left to lose, last dance, all of them type of storylines going on, right? And I think, honestly, when, when it comes to this offense, then with Jimmy Garoppolo, I think they're going to be looking like 2021 a bit. I ain't going to lie to you guys, right? I posed the question, which version we're getting of Jimmy Garoppolo? And honestly, in my heart, as I'm thinking of it, it is the 2021 version. Very much the 15th ranked best quarterback in the league. But there's no problem with the 15th best quarterback in the league when you have playmakers, right? Playmakers. We got the Yak Bros, finally. All three are playing in the game. George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Brent Ayuk. All three are going to be finally playing together in the game. Now, what does that do for Jimmy Garoppolo? That makes his day easy. Because all three are some of the best in their position. Um, maybe you can argue with, with some of Brent Ayuk. Who knows? Um, a, a bit under running woman, but who knows, right? But anyway, all three are going to be playing, right? That boosts um, everybody's game, in my opinion. From the passing to the... Running game. That's an important thing with this running game, right? What was once the strength of this team, right? There was once five running backs on this team. It's now Marlon Mack, Jeff Wilson Jr., and Jordan Mason. That is a interesting group there. Interesting group. But there's no problem with that. There's no problem with that. Because this is the Shanahan system. This is the Anthony Lennon Shanahan system. So very much an interesting system. And with George Kittle being a blocker now, then it should be very easy here to run. But I think there is going to be a bit of a challenge with this run. Um, we face a familiar face in DJ Jones. He is probably one of the better run um, defenders in this league, in my opinion, right? And and there's also Chubb. Uh, well, I forgot who the other guy is, but you know the other pass defender. So yeah, so yeah, this is going. I think maybe a bit difficult with running, but there's still that passing. There's still that yak. Um, hasn't stopped Shanahan from running and hasn't stopped Shanahan from passing, right? So very all. I expect a good offensive performance. And you know another reason why I expect a good offensive performance? So we got reports here from Mike Silver and a few others, right? That anonymous players are saying that they will rather have Jimmy Garoppolo run this offense, right? Well, then prove it. I want to see them prove it, right? You, 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 you have this take that your offense runs better with Jimmy Garoppolo, then show it. Show that you can run with the, the box that usually is there for Jimmy Garoppolo. Show show me that he can pass. Show me that Jimmy Garoppolo will finally go for the deep ball, you know. Show me this stuff, alright? Because if he doesn't show me this stuff, then it, it's just um, um, Trey Lance, but better. But as a better passer and without the running ability. What's up with that? <laughs> But anyway, right? We got we got to talk defense now. Defense. This is the interesting part here, right? We face they're facing Russell Wilson. Um, it seems finally far time has caught up to us, Russell Wilson. Let me see if I can bring up the stats here for you guys, so you can just 
understand it here. It's going to pop up on your screen in a second, but um, let's find it here. For all my good um, acquaintance and Splash Cousin, Jordan Elliott. Follow that guy. He's great. He's, he makes better content than me currently. But Russell Wilson under pressure this season. That's the important part. 6 of 20, 30 yards, at 1.5 yards per attempt. But here's the biggest thing, right? This is under pressure. You know how many times the 49ers defense has gotten pressure? 47% of opposing team dropbacks have had a pressure recorded from this 49ers defense. So, you, you want to talk... What this defense needs to do is very simple. Swarm. Swarm Russell Wilson. Make him make these mistakes. Forward time is finally catching up with this guy. Get Make sure your defense is playing to their best ability and make sure everybody is, is doing their job. Make sure Charvarius Ward is doing this job. Make sure Emmanuel Mosley is doing this job. Make sure Samuel Womack is doing this job. Make sure that one of the best safeties currently going Talno Funga, which is probably one of the bigger surprises for the 49ers, I will not lie to you guys, is doing his job. Because if there's one thing about Russell Wilson, no matter what, he can throw the dang ball. And finally, there's one other reason why I have this going down as a 49ers win, right? There's a few things you can look at to see if your team's going to win, right? One is location, roster, and coach, right? The 49ers are going to be playing a mile high. That is very much a place where you can throw it, elevation, all that stuff. It's called mile high for a reason. So both teams have that advantage, right? So let's say it's a, besides for the home field advantage, in which, mind you, the Denver fans were booing Russell Wilson. But anyway, besides for that, right? I, I'm, I'm going to say he's neutral with the land. Uh, uh, you know, the playing field, right? Roster. 49ers have a Super Bowl roster. I don't know what's up with this um, Denver roster right now. It sh- From all reports, it should be a Super Bowl roster, but they have they have barely scored. Their defense is, um, defense is playing well, but the last two opponents were Seattle and... Houston so really is it a good defense who knows so I'm going to give that to the 49ers and then finally coach Kyle Shanahan versus Nathaniel Hackett all right reminder Nathaniel Hackett was the guy who said we're going to kick a field goal not at mile high in Seattle with a kicker who has I think never made that kick before not in mile high so really, right, if if he doesn't trust um his quarterback, who is a Hall of Famer, I will never say Russell Wilson's not a Hall of Famer. And then you got a head coach that from all accounts, um is a g- offensive genius, um, maybe a bit restrictive of what his um quarterbacks can do, but hey, the system is the system and it's been working with every single quarterback ever, right? If we all know what we're talking about. That Nick Mullins stat where he's in the same league as Andrew Luck and Patrick Mahomes for a certain stat. That is insane. So, yes, advantage goes to the 49ers here. And if we don't even look at head coach here, let's look at defensive coordinators here. D'Amico Ryan currently is play calling the best defense in the league. And a lot of stats. So really, just from D'Amico Ryan's, I, I, I think they have the advantage here for 49ers, right? So with all that said, what are the keys to victory for the San Francisco 49ers, mind you? Very simple. Defense, play how you've been. Offense, show why Jimmy Garoppolo is, um, is the best game manager in all football. Give it to your, Give it to the playmakers, right? And overall, the final key to victory here is don't get out coached. If you get out coached by Nathaniel Hackett, you will never hear the end of it. But yeah, that is going to be it for me today, Dawson Rashad. I hope you guys enjoyed this content here. 
Um, I originally had an LSU one plan of these, but I, I ain't talking New Mexico. I, I'm just not going to talk New Mexico. There has to be something else to talk about, so we're going to fill in that void. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. It helps out the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>